done, but they're not going to, uh, not all of them are going to connect. Right. And then we can do, oh, you can be demolished. Finally. And then we can do the same on this side. And this might mess up my boss lines a little bit, but I'm not too worried about that. I want to see if this, like, because this is technically going to push traffic to different places. Not necessarily the right places, but I'm curious to see, curious to see what it does. We'll have to just, uh, we'll have to pay attention. See if it helps at all. Because ideally, like, I'd really like traffic to almost use the highway to get around more. They're never gonna do that, but it would be nice. Although, maybe a direct roundabout connection to the industrial area would help, too. I think a direct connection to the industrial area might be what we need. Let's, uh, let's give it a shot. See what we can do. So, we went there. So, we want to go from there to there. And from there to there. And then what distance out did we go? That's a weird looking set of roads, is what that is. But I kind of like it, actually. <laughs> you know what I mean? It gives us a direct feed into the industrial zone. Um, I mean, yeah, some traffic has to U-turn in a weird way to get there, but it kind of... It might... It might do cool stuff. It might have been better to do this as like, like extend the industrial zone and then do this. But I'm curious to see what, I am curious to see what it does. I'm actually, I'm, I'm really curious to see what it does. Thus far, nothing. Unfortunately. But if I click on it, hold on, let me select the right thing, click on it. I mean, there's a bit. There's a bit of traffic interested in using it. Some of it's not necessarily using it the right way, but there's a bit. So, might help a little bit in the long run. We'll see. We will certainly see. I'm going to have to uh, come back to that, I suppose. Uh, what are the complaints we're having then? So, the park's on fire. That's good. Uh, not enough buyers for products is kind of the new one. That's kind of the big one right now. Okay, this might have actually done more than I, I'm giving it, giving it credit for. But that actually, that whole area has cleared out. So where is our uh, traffic at now? 86%! We're gunning for that 105% is what we're doing. This road here is suffering. That is actually, that is that is that main road through there that I was, I was worried about though. Okay. Um, I'm not going to be able to upgrade that. At least not all of it. Let's do that bit. And upgrade that bit. Let's take some of the... Um, let's take the low density housing out of here completely. And upgrade it all. And we'll see if that helps at all for that road. And maybe we do the other side as well. So take out all of you and upgrade all of you. We'll fill that bit in. And then paint the rest of you in. So there we go. We'll see if that helps. Hopefully it will. If we have a little look. Um, that's not bad. This bit's very busy here, but it's not backed up. Is, is what I'm thinking. I think this bit over here could maybe do with uh, an upgrade. Just for a few more lanes. But I'll be honest, I mean, 89%? That ain't bad. 88%, that's... Okay, 87%, 86%. You know, this this reminds me of um, when you'd play Grand Theft Auto and you're like, oh, I really want this car. I wish it would spawn and it doesn't forever. It's, it's that. That's what this is doing right now. That's literally, it's literally the same thing. 
literally the same thing. All right. Exactly the same. It's not. Similar. It's what it is. Um, I kind of want to do more of these solar towers. I'm actually curious. If I was to do two more of them, right? Do two more of those. Let's start deleting the uh, the old power sources. Now, technically, incineration plants are power sources as well. So I'm kind of thinking we're going to have to get rid of those at some point. You know what I mean? Like, uh, I'm thinking... Like, these are great, but the incineration plants are also giving us power, and we... I think... I think we're gonna have to replace them with, um... Recycling centers. They're not as efficient, though. But I'm gonna try it. I'm straight up gonna try it in this area to start with. So there's a bunch of recycling centers, because we have the biofuel buses as well. So if we kind of double down on this, we might be okay for, um... Being a city of nothing but green energy. Um, we're also seeing a lot of abandoned buildings in our industry right now. A lot of, uh, not enough buyers for products. So we need more commercial areas to create demands, f uh, demand for the goods that we have. Um, which is fair. We actually have surprisingly few commercial areas. Let's rip out, like, a chunk of industry there. Do we have a, um, do we have a map tile we can buy right now? We do. We could buy this entire island and start working our way over this way, because that's, that's where we're going to get a connection to the, the regional trains. So let's buy that one. And that gives us the islands up there, which is good. And I guess we could start connecting up that way. We could get some, uh, we can probably get a pretty good, uh, highway connection up there too at some point. When do we next get a, uh, thing? Oh, when we get 34,000 people. Fantastic. Okay, so 34,000 people, we grab that tile, we connect our highway straight through, we start bringing trains in, we can start some, bleh, we can start doing some good things. I'm looking forward to it. I think in the meantime, let's start looking at filling up this area. Because, uh, this area is definitely going to need it. So let's see. Uh, let me go there. And let me do... What is that aligned to? Let me turn off guidelines. Um, and start there. And do 20. We'll start there. We'll do 20. And we could technically just go straight down, couldn't we? Can I go straight through there? I absolutely can. We'll leave that as a park, I think. And this could be a park in here, but I kind of think I want to um, do housing down here. So let's do housing instead. We'll just do like... Uh, some kind of pattern like this, back and forth. Could do like a little park in the middle, or zone it perfectly. That works too. That's, uh, that's not bad. Not bad at all. Let's do... What do we want to do around the, around the university, though? I'm almost tempted to say we could do like an old town style thing around the uni. Or we could do, we could do the, the green housing thing. Could do both. Ooh. Oh, I have an idea. Hold on. Hold the phone. What if Orchard Heights is, um, kind of the name of, like, the university district, right? But is also surrounded by some old European style buildings. So we could argue that this is like the old center of town or something. Something like that. So this, this could be like the old town. So if we go in and we do uh, commercial buildings, the whole way around the university, we'll leave those bits open. I think I'm going to take out those bits as well. Go to Orchard Heights, say European. We'll have some pretty cool looking European buildings around this. And then we'll do like green housing down here. So it looks like a new development, right? I think that'll be pretty cool. We should try and do some kind of park or plaza in here. That's not necessarily going to be an option. Could do a tennis court. No. 
Is there a 4x4 park? They're all 5x5, five five, aren't they? Oh, wait, no, the Japanese gardens are 4x4. Four four. Sure. Let's do some Japanese gardens in the corners there, just to have a bit of decoration or something. But I'm excited for this area to start building up a little bit. Uh, this area here can be all housing. And it's going to be its own district as well. So it's going to be, you know, whatever the, whatever it's called is whatever it's called. That's fine. But there we go. So that's Holly Square. That works. Uh, what is the way that you do the green housing thing? It is a district thing, right? Yeah, self-sufficient buildings. There we go. I think that'll look kind of cool, though. I think that'll look really cool. And then over here could be an IT cluster. Sort of leaning into the idea that um, this is a very, like, new development surrounding the old time. I think that'll look kind of cool as well. I realize we are in a bit of a pickle with the whole lack of uh, lack of places to sell goods, but I'm hoping we can fix that. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh, so Middle Park is apparently the name of this. Fair enough. So yeah, I, uh, I think we've got a pretty solid idea here. So that'll be an IT cluster. Over here could probably be an IT cluster. I think we were going to do a park there, though. Could do another park down there as well, which I guess there would be near a uh, near a university. So let's do let's do this, and then I'll just take it off of uh, that side. Okay, I think that's gonna look really good, though. I'm actually really really excited to see this uh, to see this build. We actually have some of the European buildings going up already. The city's definitely not growing. There's a whole lot of uh, not enough buyers for products. We just need so much more in the way of um, the way of commercial. So let me start ripping out some of the uh, the older housing projects around here. In fact, let me rip all of those out. And uh, let's take out some of these as well, since they're not really being uh, of much use to us at the minute. There we go. So that's going to give us a lot of empty space, but that's kind of okay. That's not too big a deal. I uh, I think we'll just keep an eye on it and see what happens. Um, I want to take some stuff out of this area too, I think. And then I think that whole space can be a park. And then down here can be a park as well. So let's do a bit of zoning for those whilst everything else builds. Might as well. Uh, so you're going to come across and sort of around. Dean Garden is the name. Hmm. I like it. Dean Garden's not bad. Definitely a, uh, definitely all right. Definitely very, uh, very proper. I don't know what a improper park name would be, to be totally honest with you. I, uh, I, I couldn't tell you. Evergreen City Park, Dean Garden. You know what? Dean Garden is, um... Improper Park. There we go. Might as well. Uh, but I like it. I think that'll be a cool spot for it. Let's do some City Park entrances. We're not going to do anything like zoos or, um... Anything, anything along those lines at the minute. They might happen later down the line, but I'm not really interested right now. Let's do, um... I don't know where to do the entrance to this. Could do there. I think we'll just sort of do there with a, uh, a park side gate opposite. And then hold on, let me do... This, do this, change that bit in the middle to grass, so we have some crossings, so you can cross over into the other side of the park, and if you want, you can go straight through. So that'll be pretty good. Uh, we'll do a few entrances, sort of dotted around the sides. And we'll try and connect those together. So you can go straight across there, you can go... 
straight down there. This can go straight, I guess, over? That kind of works. I like that. I think we'll keep it simple. I'm probably going to take the trees out of it. Is uh, is kind of the, the the one big change I can see me making here is take all the trees out of it, so it's more of a clear um, area than it otherwise would be. Turn off these guidelines as well because they're starting to really bug me. Um, apparently, I can't do that. Hmm. Um, I'm actually gonna leave that. It looks like it just runs into the wall of the um. Oh, no, I can't. Never mind. We'll just do this, then. That's fine. I was going to leave it because it looked like it just kind of led straight into the wall of the Japanese garden, but turns out I had another bit at the front I needed to deal with. So let's turn off uh, road length for a second. Let's turn off angle. And let's see if I can freeform this. Almost. You know, that's pretty good there, actually. I think I could do better. I reckon I could do better. Bring you right up to the edge. And bring you right off there. There we go. That's perfect. Okay, so this top part's done. It's kind of hard to see with all these trees in the way, so tear those out real quick. And we'll do, uh, we'll do a couple by the entrances. Just to make those look nice. And uh, a couple by this entrance, by this one, and uh, it kind of does the job. We can do some plazas in there as well. We'll do some stuff to actually make people want to go into the park, because, you know, might as well. We'll do like a cafe. Could do like a cafe right there, apparently. Sure. Do a little cafe by the entrance. We'll do a, uh, what is this? A restroom by uh, the other entrance. You know, you can go into the park, have a uh, crap. I wouldn't dare, personally. Not a big fan of public public bathrooms, honestly. Uh, they're kind of nasty, for the most part. They're kind of, yeah, just really, really nasty. But, you know, if you're interested in using a public bathroom, I don't... I don't think interested in is necessarily the right word. If you so desire or if you happen to need to, then it's available. Um, I just personally wouldn't. That's all I'm saying. Um, either way, this is actually turning out to be fairly popular. The Foxy Mystery says, I think it's more desperation. Yeah, I'd agree with that. That's a lot of tourists there. Oh, it's leveled up already. Nice. Oh, this is all built as well. I wasn't paying attention. Oh, God, death wave. How are we looking for death care? Not very good. Let's get a few crematoriums in here. Just a few. So that helps a little bit. Let's throw one just out here somewhere. That's the budget one basically. But I think this looks nice. I think it looks really nice. I'm liking it. I think Evergreen City Park. Let's go take the uh, the trees out of there and do something with it as well. The good news is it's not divided by a road, so it's going to be a little bit easier to work with. So let's see. Entrance can go there. Uh, side gate can go there. Uh, there. And there. That should do it. Let's turn angle, road length, and grid back on. Let's bring you to there and there. I mentioned that I wanted to, like, build... I think it was, like, relatively early on. I mentioned that I wanted to, like, build things as we go along rather than, like, get into the game later down the line and be like, oh, we haven't built any parks for a while or we haven't done this for a while or we haven't done that. I'm really liking this. Like, build the city and the parks, you know, all one after the other, etc., etc. Uh, this is going to be a pain. So we're going to get rid of you. And we're going to do a, uh, a main gate like that instead. 
There we go. Gives us a nice little central area. That kind of works. Let's connect all of the, uh, all of the fences together. Oh, this one's going to be a pain as well. Let's do no angle, length, or grid snapping, please. Oh. Let's do about there. Yeah, that kind of works. I'm going to see if I can get away with not doing curves here. I don't think I'm going to be able to. So if I go to about there... That'll have to do, I think. Yeah, that's about as good as that's going to get. Um, over here is going to be uh, run straight down to there and straight back to there. That's pretty decent. I think that's it. Yeah, that is it. I like it. I like it. Um, let's do some stuff in here so that people can uh, actually want to use the park. We'll do a uh, gazebo off the side there. We'll do... What is this? Oh, climbing frame. Wait, cl hold on. This is next to a, uni a university campus. There's like elementary schools and stuff on it as well. I don't think a climbing frame is a great idea. A trampoline park, however, next to a university campus is dangerous. Very dangerous, but potentially hilarious. Let's just do a couple of little details about here. And, uh, what else can we do? A cafe. Nice little cafe there. With some restrooms right there. I like it. Okay. Let's just put in some, uh, some more trees then to sort of blend it all together. It's, it's really... Proving to be interesting not having tree brush. I'm finding myself completely uninterested in actually placing trees, where usually I'm the opposite. Usually it's like, oh, the park's done, lads. Let's place a million trees. Not anymore. I'm a new man without the tree brush. There we go. Uh, we'll do some, you know, nice uh, little bright trees there. And that'll work. That's fine. Um, I like it. That actually, that has actually turned out exactly the way I wanted it to. We've got, like, the European buildings here, which is, like, kind of the old town, right? And it's very small. It's, like, it, I, I would assume it's been, like, it's, like, a recent thing, right? They recently decided that they were gonna, um, preserve the old town. So they kind of had none of it left, but they kept this central part, um, around, like, the old, I don't know, government buildings which are now universities uh yeah i like it i think it does it does the job i wanted it to do we've got like the the green cities buildings right here which are like where the students all stay we've got like an it cluster which is like i don't know a bunch of tech corporations that are like oh we'll get students out of university really quickly and get them working for us and pay them next to nothing that's pretty much the idea there. That's that's pretty much their plan. As for traffic, traffic is at 85%, which I think is... Uh, I think that's a success thus far, to be honest. I like to think that's a bit of a success. I was going to do some uh, a park in there as well, wasn't I? I should probably still do that, but we'll, we'll, we'll get back to that at some point. Um, I do want to do some commercial right along there, though. Just the whole way along. Because we have a bit of demand for it. And it'll back onto the, uh, onto the highway kind of nicely, which should probably at this point be upgraded to have sound barriers. Like, the whole way along. Because I don't think it should be left open to the city at this point. So that looks a bit better. Uh, this side could probably be the same. And then in there already has them, so that's fine. I really like that. I think that looks fantastic. 